What's up, guys, and welcome back to another episode of Planet Zoo. If you guys are enjoying the Africa Pack mini-series, make sure you leave a like on the video as it'd be greatly appreciated. In the last episode, we were working on the Phoenix Fox exhibit. We do have just a little bit of tweaking to do, I think, in today's episode, but the main objective is to add our second exhibit now hopefully meerkats title in the thumbnail probably gives it away of course you guys already know what we're doing i still have to figure it out so it's very obvious that i've been kind of away from this game for quite a while i've been told that the last episode that we had on planet zoo was actually six months ago so it's it's been a minute for sure so much so that i completely forgot to put donation bins i only have one habitat education board over here for the phoenix fox so we got a little bit of adjusting to do, for sure. I also recognize that the viewing area that I've given our guests is probably the worst viewing area I've ever made. So, what I'm planning on doing is I'm going to try to extend just a little peninsula off the, uh, the higher spot on this bridge. Because I do, you know, I feel bad for our foxy little friends. They have to swim across this, basically a canal, compared to how small they are, every single time. They want to go over to their little, uh, I, I say little, but again, it's it's massive compared to them. Shelter over here. While I do feel bad that we're essentially damming up this uh, sort of creek we've created here, we're going to try to find something that resembles a pipe so that we can pretend that the water would still flow through that pipe. And then we'll just kind of bring the terrain up probably through this frontal section here just in front of their shelter that way they have a bit easier access to and from the shelter because they sleep here but then they have to eat clear over here which is of course on the other side of the water and uh, I, I just feel bad you know seeing them have to swim across this all the freaking time I'm sure they're getting pretty pooped pretty worn out from doing that but back to the viewing area let's see about adjusting this masterpiece that we created doesn't look like it's going to let us put a path over top of the fence or the barricade that we have which totally understandable i i didn't really expect it to work right out the gate so we're going to go through and edit this barrier and then we're going to hit delete i feel bad for doing this but we have to do it there we go okay so a habitat has become invalid of course that's the phoenix fox habitat because they're not technically contained now which i realize is a problem but we have to give these guests a proper viewing area. So right up here in the middle of the flattest part of the bridge, I'm gonna bring out just a huge section right there. It looks strange right now. I realize this, it looks very, very strange. So rather than using the glass barrier, I'm gonna try using the wood barrier just because I, I do think it looks a little bit better. There we go, nice gradual decline over there. This one, I think I'm gonna bring down just a foot. There we go, that looks much nicer. So, of course, all you realists out there are gonna be like, Tuji, how's the water gonna get through your log fence? This doesn't look realistic at all. Well, just, you know, keep in mind it is a game, but I do have a plan. Remember that pipe thing I was talking about with this, uh, this whole little bridge dealio over here? I'm thinking we just try the same thing Hopefully it works and then real quick. I'm trying to move the wood fence in a little bit closer to the main path because It looks just a little funky from an aerial perspective Not that we're often looking straight down on the zoo But if we ever were to we'd notice a huge gap here in between the path and the fence So I think now it actually looks a bit more normal. So we should be good on editing that. We could also put like a little gap filler in there, some sort of decorative piece that maybe doesn't have a, a clipping restriction on it, but I, I don't think we're gonna worry about it too much. Now onto this pipe situation, dude. I don't even know if there's a thing that looks remotely close to a pipe. Should we just try pipe? There's gotta be something, right? Here we go, Planet Zoo gutter pipe. Okay, that's, that's not what we want. Well, it's like the old saying goes, when they don't give you a pipe, you build one. I, it's not a, <laughs> it's not an old saying, but I'm gonna try to use the primitive shapes that they have here. We have some rounded shape options, and I'm gonna try to build ourselves a pipe instead. I don't know if I love it or not. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not 100% sold on it. I was gonna try to make it almost look hollow, but there's really no good way to do that unless they had an already hollow 
type pipe, but then that would be a pipe. It's it's not perfect, but I never claimed that it would be. I do like the smaller variant that we've made here. I feel like that looks more pipey. Maybe we put some sort of water feature, like a special effect feature, right at the tip of it. Whoa, 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 whoa. Rahima is about to have offspring? Right here, all right, she's taking a heckin' snoozle. I'm gonna leave things paused. I'm having kind of a hard time figuring out what sort of special effect I would like to add to this. So I think what I'm gonna do is actually just put the bubble special effect right down the center of that pipe. And we're gonna go ahead and lower it down inside of this thing. And now we should be able to rotate this thing around and make it look a little bit more realistic. There we go. That looks like a pipe, doesn't it? I mean, from a, from a distance, I, I think that could pass for a pipe, for sure. Let's hit play really quick. Hopefully that baby isn't had yet. Yeah, dude, the bubbles are a good call. You know what? Makes it at least kind of look like there should be water flowing through it. Our Phoenix Fox is about to have offspring, so let's quickly do this bridge so that the babies don't have to swim across the canal too. Okay, next, we're gonna see if we can't put this water back in here, dude. I'm kind of scared. Okay, that side worked. This side also worked. There we go, and now we have a nice little bridge. Nice little land bridge right there that they can go across. Across. <laughs> I remember, dude, I remember back when I was still playing Planet Zoo, I remember people always yelling at me, being like, Across doesn't have a T in it. Stop saying that. I can't help it, that's just the Midwestern in me. Same reason that I say R instead of our. Can't help it, that's just, that's just how I do things, how I say things. I'd say that looks pretty good. Right? To the untrained eye, it, it looks like there's a pipe going underneath the land bridge, meaning, theoretically, the water could pass through underneath and everything will be cool. All right? All you realists out there, I did this for you. Okay? Don't say I never did anything for you. But I think we're going to have some offspring here, like, very, very soon. So let's find that Phoenix Fox. Was it you? Yeah, here we go. Rahima. About six and a half years old. Offspring imminent. We're just going to follow you around here. Rahima. Not too close though. I don't want to be too up in your up in your bubble, so to speak. Kind of ironic because you are by a bubble machine. Oh my god, what? Just nothing even nothing even took place there. Just a baby just sprinting right out, dude. It was ready. So who do we have over here? Just one baby? Hakim? Freaking gold boy. Now do they just have one? They do. Okay. Rahima has had her offspring. Oh no 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 no. We got two. We got two. Another one just popped up. Out of nowhere, Niaz, or Ni Niaz. I don't, you guys can inform me on how to properly pronounce things. There we go, dude. We got two Bebe, both lads, both little lads here. I love a good Bebe. Look at that, dude. Two beautiful baby boys. Well, cool. So we have, let's see, I think we had two initially, and then we got two more. So now we should be up to six. Phoenix Fox. Let's finish out the observation deck that we've created up here. We of course need the donation bins because otherwise how are we going to get money from our guests? You know, they're not just going to willingly come knocking on my office door being like, hey man, here's a hundred dollars. Thanks for letting us visit your zoo. So let's try to find those. I don't even remember where they're at. I'm assuming in guest facilities. Here we go. Donation bin or donation box. I'm sorry. So we're going to put one right here. We're going to put another on the opposite side. And then we're gonna kind of have to move these benches around because that's that positioning is not gonna work anymore. So let's put one of those there. Let's move the other one just over here. And then we did have a garbage can. So I'm gonna put the garbage can right in front of the end of this observation deck that we've created because guests love to, for whatever reason, throw trash inside of our habitats especially when you have such a wonderful looking observation deck like we have here. I don't know what it is about them, but they just love doing that type of stuff. So hopefully this will prevent them from doing so. Let's hit play again, make sure they're still enjoying themselves. This lady is standing inside of the trash can, but I don't think she's gonna be there too long. Eventually at some point she's gonna have to move, right? Just gonna make sure I don't need to call the paramedics. This dude's shooting pictures through this other guy's chest all right Ooh, and we are getting some donations over here which is awesome we love to see that wait for it wait for it oh come on now that i say something everyone's like yeah I'm oh here we go here we go caught it just in time there we go we can see some some change some chump change being tossed into there and now we are actually making money 
believe it or not. We have a successful zoo now, officially. I think I am going to leave the habitats, sort of TV, you know, education monitor down here, rather than putting one up here. I might also add another on the incline to the bridge. I just don't want to clutter up the observation deck too much, you know, and, and block the view with a big old screen. Okay, so I think that is probably all the work we're going to do on the Phoenix Foxes today. Now, I did realize that there is something very, very cool that I completely glossed over. I don't know if this was added for sure with the Africa expansion pack that we're basing this mini series off of, but this ride looks absolutely incredible. And it's totally like Africa Safari type thing. So I think it would fit in with this zoo very, very well. I don't think we're gonna do it yet. I feel like we should probably wait until we get a couple more exhibits opened up. Checking out the animals now, I've just typed AF, as in Africa, just to see how many different animals have African in the name. And it turns out there's quite a few. Lucky for you guys, the mini series is going to continue until we've placed every single animal that has to do with Africa in this zoo. Now, I don't mean like we're gonna put every single animal that is in Africa, period, in the zoo, but every single animal that has African in the name, we will of course add because it's very obvious they're from Africa. Additionally, all of the new animals that have been added with the Africa pack, we will, of course, be putting in the zoo as well. So unfortunately, giraffe, out. You're out of here. I don't even know why Indian peafowl showed up. Oh, I guess because AF. Yeah, okay, that makes sense. But like West African lion, we got African wild dogs, African penguins, which is sick. I didn't even know Africa had penguins. We have African elephants, African buffalo. I mean, the list goes on and on and on. But I think the thing we should probably focus on first is the animals that have been added with the Africa Expansion Pack DLC. So Meerkat, you're up next, dude. You are up next. We have a male. We have a female around the same age. One's a silver, one's a bronze. Can't really beat that. Well, you could, but that'd be weird. We got $1,700 for this one and $1,100 for this one. Let's just go ahead and get them both. You know what? Why not? Ooh, immunity's very bad. Longevity, 50%. What about this one? Oh, they could have some good bebe. They could have some good bebe. All right, perfect. Now, we have to kind of scope out where we want to put this new exhibit. Kind of a tough one, because this is one of the exhibits that you could turn into one where, you know, you have it a little bit more interactive, right? You could maybe walk through this exhibit. The meerkats wouldn't really bother the guests at all, I don't think. Are meerkats vicious? I I've, I've seen the Lion King. I it Timon and Puma did not... Wait, was it Timon? Timon was the meerkat, right? It's been a long time. Timon didn't seem very vicious. We should also name a meerkat Timon. Why didn't I think about that until just now? These animals are, of course, going to need water. So I think we maybe go through with that watering hole idea we had before, where we have a small little pool here. The canal or the small little creek that we've made will connect it to a, a larger pool, maybe down here that we have for the elephants or the buffalo or, you know, the larger African breeds. But I'd say a good area for the meerkats is probably up here. And uh, maybe we just start by making this larger pool. There we go. Got it lowered down a, a decent depth. It's, it's definitely not going to be the deepest watering hole you've ever seen. But now we're going to go around the outside and just quickly sort of smooth out this area. All right, so up next, of course, we need some sand. I think we did fine sand the last time. And the reason we're doing this is because when the tall grass is underneath the water, it just looks really stupid. <laughs> it just doesn't look very realistic at all. So we're gonna clear out all the tall grass and just replace it with a nice fine sand. And I think it'll look a lot better. Also, what is this hump doing here, dude? Okay, let's add the water back in. Hopefully everything still looks good. Yeah. I'm happy with that. And we have some nice shade from these already placed down trees. We didn't even have to do any of that, which is always nice. So meerkats need about 1,900 square feet. So around the same as the Phoenix Fox. And again, we made their exhibit way too big. So we could scale the meerkat exhibit back a little bit, but I wanna at least make them, you know, same, same, but different. But I'm trying to make the meerkat exhibit a little bit more grandiose. You know, I'd, I'd really like to church it up quite a bit because if we go into construction, or maybe it was under blueprints, this right here, the North African meerkat archway. I don't know why, but I just think it looks really nice. It's fairly elegant, I would say. I do think I'm gonna do a more interactive exhibit for this one. I honestly like the placement of that a lot. Let's extend this path here 
straight aways. That's probably good enough. We don't need to go much further than that. And then for this path, I'm gonna go back to the earth path. Okay, so this doesn't exactly line up. So I'm just gonna drag it over just a tad. We've made some pretty straight paths in our time here in Planet Zoo. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna do my very best to kind of make this one a little bit more windy. I don't know where it's going to end either. That's the other thing that I have to still figure out. We could just make it end somewhere over here. Yep, this is it, dude. This is it, this is what we're doing. We're gonna have the exit come right next to the bathroom. I know it's a little strange. I don't know if there's a way for me to make this exit only. I don't think there is. So guests could potentially enter on this side, although the the true, you know, formal entrance will be this one. All right, what do we think about that? I didn't want to make it too round, but I also didn't want to make it too square. I think I like it. I think I like it. It's nice and short too. So now I'm gonna take some inspiration from these rocks here at the uh, the more formal entrance that we've created. I, I shouldn't even say created. We just placed this thing down. It's a blueprint. We didn't make this. I think that's pretty obvious, but I'm not sure if we should try to do a rock perimeter or if we should just do a fence. The wood fence really does look nice. I think it, it totally fits the Africa theme. So maybe let's try that first and uh, we can add some, some more decorative rock. I think the hardest part about this is gonna be putting a guest gate in this thing. It's gonna be a little awkward because the doors are gonna sort of clip through this, this structure, this building here. But I like that. I think positioning's good. It looks fairly center in the middle of the path there. And it also looks good from the front. So I'm, we're rolling with it, dude. We're rolling with it. Let's get the wood fence now attached. All right, so, so far I have a huge, way too big, way too much space for these meerkats. And uh, I, I, I don't know, man, I might even close it off here, kind of bring this up at an angle and, and cut that hard corner out right there. I'm just not sure yet. Not 100% sold on it yet. Another thing that I definitely have to do is of course add another guest gate over here because we've already got the entrance. Now we need another gate for the exit. There we go, all the way back to the start. I think it looks pretty good. I feel like over in this area, maybe by these rocks, we may have to elevate the fence ever so slightly just because they might be able to hop up on the rocks and then in turn jump over the fence. But we'll figure that out if that uh, if that does happen. The other thing that kind of went awry was this little bit here. But what if we just grab this whole building and just just slide it over if we can do that just slide it over until it doesn't clip through anymore now it's clipping through the bathrooms i realize this i'd rather have it clip through another building than our uh, our poor fence over there so now that we've done that let's grab ourselves a staff path done deal dude look at this massive pool that they have access to i realize meerkats and phoenix foxes they don't technically need water but this is Africa, okay? If I were an animal living in Africa, I would love to just live around any watering hole. Any sort of water I could get near, I would be there. Hydrate or dihydrate, baby. Whew, look at this, dude. That looks awesome. I think I might actually use this and then just kind of delete the fence that they have put around it. Because this looks awesome for a central focal point right here. So I think I might actually do that. Let's place that down right here. Now all this fence around here, I'm going to get rid of. It is a really cool fence if we wanted to have, you know, some sort of fence surrounding the path. I definitely think the, uh, what is this even called? Just African fence. I think it looks really nice. I'm just not 100% sure that we need it surrounding this rock. I wanna make it feel as inclusive as possible. I don't want guests to feel like they're being kept away from the animals. So there we go, dude. We got like an old Jeep kind of just up on a rock. I don't know if they were trying to make a bonfire right here or what's going on there, but we have a nice tent as well. Absolutely love it. And then the moss hanging off the top of that rock up there, dude, just chef's kiss. Very, very good looking piece right there. And funny enough, I don't even think this set is actually from the Africa pack because I just put in the Africa pack here in nature and it didn't pop up. So that must mean it's from the original sort of base game stuff. Again, just keep in mind guys, while this is the Africa pack, it is simply an expansion of the existing Africa related items that they included in the base game. There's still a ton of great decorative pieces like this one here in the base game that you can utilize without actually purchasing this DLC, but I would recommend it, okay? I'm not just saying that because they gave me early access. I know a lot of the time people think that. I ain't just saying that, okay? The only reason you may regret not purchasing it is because meerkats, man. Literally the cutest little things 
on the face of the earth. But let's let's look through this some more and we'll see what other nature related pieces we can add to this. So we have some different northern African scenes here. What is this one? Ooh, that do be kind of nice looking though. I wish we had a little bit more space over here because that would look really good in front of this door. I really do like this one, but again, I don't really want the fence around it because it kind of seems like we're trying to keep the guests off of the grass, which we, you know, we probably should be, but uh, I ain't that type of zoo owner. So I'm gonna place that down right there and then we'll go through and just kind of make sure everything's at the right height before deleting the fence. Everything appears to be tip top there. So let's go through and just clear this. There we go. See, look how much better that looks without the fence. Okay, and then before we even start moving in these meerkats, dude, I think I'm gonna go through and just make sure that all of this grass is actually short grass because the long grass just clips through a lot of the scenery things and, and doesn't look the greatest. All the long grass is now gone. Everything just looks a lot cleaner, maybe even too clean too. So we, we will definitely go back through, add some different terrain and things, but first we have to get the meerkats placed inside here. So let's click play and we will do exactly that. So let's go to our animal storage. We have Sibella, kind of like that name actually. And then I'm gonna pronounce this Gobani but that's probably not right. Someone will probably tell me, <laughs> but let's move these into, oh, duh, we can't move these just yet. We need to give our staff members access to this facility. So let's grab a door. Let's do the wooden habitat gates. Technically they could just walk through the guest gate, but that's not how the game works. So now we'll be able to move our two beloved meerkats into their new exhibits. It's gonna be quite big for them for a long, long time, but they are gonna have to breed baby breed. Wait, what do we got going on? Animals stressed. Oh, right, yes, so. We're gonna have to get some signs over here because the guests are gonna kind of torment these animals, which is not a good thing. It's hard, man, It's it really is a balancing act. You don't wanna stress out your animals, but you also don't wanna make it so your guests can't see anything that's going on in the habitat. So you gotta kind of find the, the happy medium. Now that we've kind of helped out the fox a little bit, maybe by raising that fence, we'll have to, we'll have to wait and see I'm gonna try to do something with these guests by adding in a few signs. All right, hopefully that keeps the stress levels down. If it doesn't, we may just have to replace this wood fence with the one-way glass and just raise it up past the observation deck. That way the animals can't see the people looking down at them. There we go, dude, this is looking good. We got two meerkats coming in. There we go, dude, look at them. They are so cute, dude, so cute. They do, okay. I'm gonna be honest, meerkats do just look like a common weasel. They're also probably insanely vicious. As you can tell, they have vampire-like fangs and claws the size of nine inch nails, dude. I mean, these things could probably tear you to pieces in a matter of minutes, but they're also just really cute. I don't know what it is about them, man. It's the cutest weasel I've ever seen. We need to take a look at their terrain because I'm sure, yes, it is severely inappropriate for this animal. So they need less short grass, more long grass, way more soil. Oh yeah, that's right. They need more soil than anything else. Okay, it would appear their terrain is now perfect, which is good because that's exactly what we needed. Let's check their environment. Their coverage is adequate now, which is good. Plants, 99%. They don't really need all that much. Another good thing about a lot of these African animals, they don't really require a lot of water. Actually, most of them require no water at all, and they don't require a lot of plants. Honestly, this one, we kind of went overkill with the plants just because we added this thing. So we may even have to sort of pick apart a couple of these different plants and, and spread them out in the in the habitat a little bit more. Well, let's figure out if they need any sort of hard shelter because I didn't really see that in here. Oh, they already have? Hard shelter, okay. Grade one food quality, we're gonna up that to grade three. And of course we don't have a food tray or a watering trough or anything like that yet. So we're gonna add that in next. I think feeding area being right here is probably good because the keeper gate is fairly close and we have the twisting and, and winding path sort of going on either side of those things. Meaning the guests would get not one, but two chances of seeing these animals 
eating or drinking something. So here we go. We're gonna get the biggest food tray they got. Dude, look at this. This is the size of about a hundred meerkats. But we're gonna put that out right there and then we're gonna get them a watering pipe even though I know someone's gonna yell at me in the comments about this. We have an entire watering hole for them that they can use. I just wanna make sure they have an adequate amount of water. I don't even want to give them the option to die of dehydration. Oh, look at that. We have our first guest coming through the wrong freaking way. That is clearly the exit. See, I don't know, man. Maybe there's a way that we make them go through one way and, and not the other, but we could put like a, we could put like a water spout right there. That would be a cool spot for one. The meerkat has seen the people and they're like, you know what? This isn't so bad. I could get used to this. I'm sure the people are gonna try to feed them and uh, the meerkats are probably gonna love that. Dude, they make their own home. That's why we don't have to give them any hard shelter, dude. They literally dig themselves in a hole and they do it all by themselves. That's fantastic news. Enrichment 100%, dude, the meerkats are loving life. The good thing about meerkats and having a more interactive habitat too is the fact that they do dig their own holes in the ground if they're at all stressed, they can just climb in the hole and they can hide from all the guests. Okay, you know what this exhibit's missing? More meerkats. We need more. Dude, we gotta fill this thing all the way up. You guests are very, very big dumb and you're going through the wrong way. Okay? You're going through the wrong way here. I wish you wouldn't. I really wish you wouldn't. So like I said, we need way more of these lads because they're absolutely adorable. I'm gonna keep trying to buy them around the same age. Of course, times like this, we have a three and a half year old and a five year old. That's about as close as we're gonna get. All right, I think I might've gone a little bit overboard. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, six more. I feel like that's not a bad amount though. Eight total meerkats. And now we have to just patiently wait. Look at them, dude. They're over here just waiting for their food. They're like, all right, any day now. Any day now, he's gonna walk in with a bunch of food for us, and not today. Sorry guys, next time, next time. I think now is probably a good spot to wind things down. So once again, if you guys did enjoy, please leave a like, leave a comment, help support the dream by smashing that subscribe button. And I will see you in the next one. Thanks so much for watching guys, peace.